Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am with a legend for Fight Watch, Big Mike, one of the greatest kickboxing trainers of all time. You're famous for getting everyone soaking wet in the corner, throwing your towel, throwing your water. Why don't you respect the journalists sitting ringside when you ruin their cameras with that? Well, first of all, if you try to coach, they're always in your way. Yes. So the media. I, I hope by throwing them some water, they stay out of the corner. Listen, I've never been a fighter, but this is what I do for a living, right? I need a, I need a mic, a pep talk, kiss on the forehead right now. Give me yeah. something. Here we go. Let's go. What do you want? Give me motivated. Here okay. we go. Come on. Okay, listen, Todd. Today we're going to go for it. I don't want to hear you quit. I don't want to hear you stop. For once in a while, stand up, man up, and be a man. Yes, can you do this for once? No. Okay, then we finish. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So we've got Hesty versus Botter. The first yeah. match back in 2010. This is eight years ago. Now, no. you're from Amsterdam. Have you been smoking a lot of weed? Can you remember this far no, back? No, I don't smoke at all. Okay, well, good for you. So. Here we go. Amsterdam Arena, jam-packed. Yes, do you see how pretty this is? It's beautiful. Okay, so that's a shame why it isn't there anymore. Yeah. You know, look at this, this wall of 20,000 people and they're most waiting, of them there, waiting there for us to come out. Us. They want to see you. No, they want to see butter, but we are always in the team. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But you're still on camera. You get your FaceTime. I understand. Yes, but no. That, Give, that's tell the me the, the first time you ever met Butter, butter Hari. What happened? Oh, no. The first time I met him, he was very young. You know, and then I was watching some fights. I was like, oh, who's this guy? Skinny, tall guy. But good with kicks and knees. And... Uh, well, later on, you know, we start uh, talking with each other, but every time we're in a conversation, we end up in a discussion. That was the first time. Uh, then later on, I helped him one time in the, in the when he was first uh, left uh, his old coach, Tom Harding. He had his first fight in uh, Croatia, and I helped him, you know, and everybody was happy, and he was winning, and he knocked this guy out. And then later on we had a discussion and I said, okay, listen, this is not for us. And after the, that he went from Musi to Majuro Jim, I guess. Uh, or at first also Jim Alkmaar. He eventually made his way to you And though. then uh, Simon Russ called me. He said, well, listen, you can expect to call from Bada. And then 10 minutes later he called me, he says, do you want to train with me? So we start training together. First, we sit down, lay down some ground rules, and we start training. Did he follow your ground rules? He doesn't seem like a guy that follows rules. Well, listen, there's no much rules, you know. It's like more of, uh, listen, you do what you want, I do what I want. Really? And we don't talk about these things. When we train, we are together and outside the training. So he gets special treatment from you? Well, at the end, he does, of course, because, you know, he's like the, uh, he's the flagship of, of, of my, of my, uh, of my army. Yes. Yes, yeah, so that, that, that's normal. So as you prepared for Hesti Gerges in, back in 2010, what was the game plan? Well, you see the game plan because uh, if you look closely, in the first round, he didn't get touched. He's uh, all over Hesti. There are just some other things, you know. Uh, I don't know in this fight. Even even the second the second uh, the second round. You know, until the incident, there was no problem for us, not at all. Is your do you coach Badrhari for a fight, or do you just say go do your thing? <laughs> no, no, no. If you look closely, we co I coach very carefully. And, uh, but there's, there's some fights. fighters you told. There's some fighters that it's almost like a video game, like Sir Hey Adam yeah. Chuk. You tell him what to do, he does it, like you're pressing a button. Yeah. Is Bader that kind of fighter? Uh, yes, he is. But the thing is, when Bader is fighting nowadays, you know, it's so hectical. So you know, so, most of the time he doesn't hear me. You know, so we have to find another way to communicate. Yeah. What's he like in the gym? As far as training regimen, is he one of those guys that comes in and goes, uh, let's coach, let's go, let's go, or do you have to pump him up? No, it's, it's, it's more like working together, you know. Mm -hmm. So he's coming to the gym, we start training, we finished, that's it. You know, and he's in, in, the, in the gym, you know, he's, uh, he's normally got time for everybody. 
He's got time for all the fighters. He's got time for for other people in the gym. It's, not, it's nice for Go Kansaki to do the rap before the uh, for yeah. the fight. Oh, this is Appa. <laughs> He's a Dutch rap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but, uh, but yeah. he does like Kia. Yes. No, we were sponsored by Kia. Yeah. So Badr Hari, eight years ago, what's he like mentally then as compared to now? Oh, well, now he's grown, of course, you know, he's, uh, he's older, uh, you know, in, in a while, you know, he also, had his, uh, he also has a family and uh, went through some things to life that makes him uh, more, but is that, more is, mature. But does that make, is, is a more mature Badr Hari better than an immature, borderline psychotic fighter better no it's it's not like this you know it's it's uh well with him i was always i was always, always telling him listen you have to be willing to get a little bit further than the other guy mm -hmm. and once you do this you will win because also these things happen you know when he was fighting right he you know he also almost collapsed by beating him up that's how far he's willing to go. Yeah. You know, and then nobody, nobody complained. Nobody say anything. Now, it's one thing to have a fan base behind you because it's supportive and it's, it's awesome and it helps you. Uh, but his fans expect a certain level. They expect, they expect ferociousness. They expect knockouts. That's, that's a lot of pressure for a fighter. Does he feel pressure? Every, every fighter feels pressure. You know, but with him, it's... Listen, even if we knock Hesty out in the first minute, you know, they're still not happy with it because they say, why, why wouldn't you knock him out on the catwalk? Yeah. You know, <laughs> or, you know, also with this fight with, with, uh, with against Sammy Shield, you know, we won within one minute. Nobody ever did this. Right. You He's know? A, he was a monster. Okay. And then they said, no, it's just a street fight. But it was no street fight. They were... Uh, there were uh, angles changing, levels changing. Everything is in there. If it was so easy, people would have done it before. I know, but you know, you 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 make uh, uh, how do you say? Uh, you make an accomplishment that nobody ever did, and then still people knows how to slaughter it down. Now, Botter's bounced around at least early in his career from coach to coach. What is it about you that he likes so much and that he trusts you? I don't know. I think my humor. <laughs> no, it, you know, it, it's it's like this. You know, we are uh, we are a lot together, and then we are having fun. We don't discuss heavy things or anything. You know, mm -hmm. just like to have fun. And I don't know about the other coaches or what they do. What do you what think about Tom? Doing? Tom Harry. Uh, I respect Tom Herring a lot because he brought the kickboxing in, in Holland, especially in Amsterdam, to a different kind of level, mm -hmm. you know, but his way is not my way. What's, but, his, what's his way compared uh, to your way? I don't, well, he's uh, more of, a, in my opinion, he's a very good mental coach, you know, he can make you walk through walls. But, you know, in my opinion, I'm more, you know, more based on, on, on fighting and science. Take somebody like me, I'm 42, six months. Who, who has me ready, better ready to fight, you or Tom? Who should I go to? Six months. Uh, I think you better go to Tom because you won't last six months with me. <laughs> <laughs> you run me out of the gym? No, but you know, it, 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 uh, it's different, you know. It's, uh, the way we do it. Is, is, is based on, like, like I said before, you know, I watch a lot of fighters, I lots of, watch a lot of fights, you know, I go figure out why they do it, how they do it, and, and things like this, and we just, I just want to be the best mm -hmm. with, with my fighters, yeah. you know, and, 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 and on and on. What do you think yeah. about them playing the, the national anthems while the fighters are in the ring? I hate it. Me too. Let's go. Me too. I, I, I even think everything takes too long. Yes. You know, because they, they get you one one fight before your fight. You, if the fight goes to the end, you have to wait another 20 minutes. After this fight, you know, this fighter wants to thank his father, his mother, God, uh, everything. And uh, Here's what I equate it to. You've got like yes. a Coke, right? A Coke bottle. Yes. You're walking out. The crowd's going, you're shaking the bottle up. You're, you yes. will explode, right? And then yeah. we sit there for five minutes in this, right? And then wait. Yeah. You know, 
And it also has to do something. But it's the Moroccan national anthem, so of course Bader would appreciate that. He's so huge in Morocco. Have you been to Morocco with him before? <laughs> yes, many times. What's it like? Oh, it's nice. Yeah? It's good. Is yeah. it? He's been treated very well over there, you know, and the people treat him. So of course. Also the, nice to me. They love him. You know, but he's, uh, uh, he's doing very well over there. So what, what do you make of Hesty as a fighter? Hesty is a very good fighter. But he's not a technical. He is more. He's more uh, a fighter of uh, street fighter. No, no, no. Of will, you know, will power. Mm, big heart. He, yes, he's got a big heart and a hard head. Good stare down here. Very good stare down. Very good stare down. You know, I think also people need this. If you see this on the screens, because you, if when you sit there, you cannot see it, but you see it on the screens. Then you think, okay. Now I know why I bought this ticket. Yes. Because there are not many fights. It's foreplay. Who bring this, this tension. Yes. This, you know, it's like, you know, you get all hyped up. You get yes. all warmed up. And you see two gladiators wanted to fight. And here we go, finally. Yes. If Me you and you've been, yeah, we've boom, been. Boom, boom, boom. Right away. Yeah. I know. Uh, this is what kickboxing's supposed to be, right? Yes, but that's what I mean. No clenching, no, no let's go. But, but that's let's what fight. I, that's what I've been preaching all these times, you know, and by bringing in some of the other fighters. Uh, it's, it's not like this, you know. You see Esty also standing up. He wants to go back because by now he still didn't touch butter. He just... Is this uh, the kind of fight we're going to see in the rematch, this he, type of let's he, go? Right away, you think? Uh, I don't know. Ooh. We'll see, you see. Butter got him he, on the right. Boom. Oh. So I was excited this this one, you know. Uh, well, boom, that's an eight. That's round. a knockdown. That should be a knockdown. So, but we keep fighting on. So, you know. How's that not a knockdown? I don't know. Maybe special rules. I don't know. You know, <laughs> you know, you cannot ask yeah. me because you know I'm 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 also a little bit biased in this thing. But yes. If you look closely. Do you get nervous before fights? Are you in um, the corner right now? How are you feeling? No, now, now I'm not nervous. Before the fight, I'm nervous. Whoa! Yeah. Hesty's handling his punches yeah. pretty well, though. He's, yeah, getting, he's getting lit up. Yes, yes. When was the last time you watched this fight? I don't know, man. Eight years ago. Really? Yeah. It's exciting, huh? Yeah, well, it's exciting. But, you know, we live on. We got also other... Uh, I've got also other fighters and other fights to prepare yes. for, you know, and now, nowadays, you know, I go start watching these fights again, you know, from mm -hmm. before. Now, some would uh, say, uh, leading up to what happens later, Botter has hit him with the kitchen sink, but Hesty's still standing. Is there some frustration starting to build? No. Why, why would he be frustrated? Because he's hit him with everything. He's still standing no, up. but like I told you, we hit the right side for also with everything, and he... Also keep standing up. Yeah. You know, he he still he still didn't punch him. He did it he did do nothing. Look, and there was also mm -hmm. a situation that could have occurred. But he was Yope, uh, the the referee. He was uh on toe, you know, so he was in there. Uh, Your body kick. You don't think of Botter being a great kicker. Is he pretty good? No, he's he's a very good kicker, but he changed his style because uh, his legs were hurting too much after every oh. fight, you know. And then because he started out when he was very young, and he in the beginning he was only kicking and kicking and kneeing. And then when I said, "Well, listen, we need to knock out people," it goes much faster. Here, yeah. By this time, he wasn't punched once. Yeah, round one, great round. So um, what do you what do you say to him in the corner right now? Well, listen, this is good. We have to. Keep, you know, keep doing what you're doing, you know, and but change the levels a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I also told him he, he's supposed to come out strong in the beginning. You think he did? He, Look at these shots. Yes. I don't know that Hesty has the chin today that he had back then. Uh, well, I don't know. If he gets hit with these yeah. shots, does he make it through round one? Mm. I don't know. Just say no. I don't know. Just say no. 
Say okay. it. No, no, yeah, no. Okay, well, good. Well, listen. To be honest, I I don't think this this fight, this next fight is going to be much, much different. Look, he's still okay. You're still you're still saying something to him. You got a lot to say. I always got a lot to say. I always got a lot to say, and I repeat it also every time because sometimes they're in the ring, you know, and they're happening so much, and they, you know, and then you forget. Yeah. So these things are happening. Now, do you pick one or two things to drive home, boom, 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 or are you saying six, seven, eight different no, things? No, not six, seven, eight. I'm a, I'm a simple guy. Here. Hitting him again. Oh, this is a great yes. fight. This is what people pay to see, right? Yes. Oh. But still, you know, he, he didn't really hit by that. So this is there right. is still no problem. You know? Oh gosh. So wow, oh, there it is. There's the moment. Yes. So obviously you're not in his brain, but what do you think he was thinking at that point? He was dominating the fight. Why would yes. he do that? I don't know. I really don't know. And to be honest, I never asked him. Because we win together, we lose together. The only thing is the same, you know, when it happens with Raymond Bajowski. And I looked at him and he said, sorry. I said, don't be sorry, man. It happened. Say if you're sorry for the rest of the world. You know, because everybody's going to ask you, what are you doing? You know? Do you think he was frustrated that he hadn't been able to knock him down? I asked Hesty, I interviewed Hesty the other day, and I said, why do you think he, di he did it? And he said he thought Botter could feel the tables turning, and he wanted a way out. He didn't want to lose by decision. He didn't want to get knocked out. He was looking for a way out. What uh, say you? Okay. Well, we won the first round about, uh, that could be a 10-8 round. I don't say it is, but it could be. So it was 10-8. Can be. Uh, the second round, we were still ahead. These things happened. And why why would we lose? The tables were not turning because you still didn't. That was almost a legit knockdown. So it was it's like you, you, you beat him bad in the first round. You, you basically almost knocked him down in the second round. Yeah. Why? What happens in his brain yeah, that makes but, him think, look, I'll yeah, kick him when he's down? It's two times, two times the knockdown that that they didn't gave us. Right. You know, so if you, you know, if you look now, it's, if you look, it, it would be like 4-0. Yeah. So the tables were not turning, and I also told them, listen, we gave this belt to you. We never lost the belt. We just gave it away. You know? But you obviously agree with the decision. That should have been a disqualification. Well, listen, these things shouldn't happen in the, in the ring because otherwise uh, people were doing it more and more. And, you know, and then, then it turned, how do you say? Oops, not good. Now that's Bada Hari. What if one of your 17-year-old students was at a fight and did something like that? What would you say to him? Well, I don't condone it, of course. And... Uh, Does it reflect bad on you? Are you like, hey? Well, listen, if everybody's going to try to do this thing, of course, <laughs> because then we are a gym who's known for yeah. kicking when you're on the floor, but we don't do this, you yeah. know, and it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. So, that's, that's... So, compare, it's, compared it's no to... no problem, but look, here. Yeah, but Hesty uh, acts like he won the World Cup. Well, he did. Yeah. He, he did, he won the World Tam he, Championship. He, he, he did, but we gave it to him. Yeah. And this is uh, another thing, you know, People forget to say, we just gave it away. So what will be different this fight? No, because let's, let's, let's be honest, you know, if you, let's say, let's say we, we're, sitting, we're sitting somewhere and then Hesty walked in and said, oh, what are you doing? Well, I'm a carpenter. What are you doing? I'm a kickboxer. Oh, oh. you any good? Yes, I'm the heavyweight champion of the world. Okay, who do you want? Bader Ali. Oh, this guy I know. You want Bader? Yes. Okay, so we watch it, get our phones, watch it on video. I said, okay, when are you coming back? <laughs> <laughs> when? What happened? How? Oh. oh, okay. So, but the other thing is, 
I know Hesse doesn't want to win like this either. Yeah. So March the third, we're gonna see what happened. And Do you think it'll play out similarly, at least until that kick? It'll be the same sort of style fight. Same sort of style fight. And it depends on the night, but either we. Oh, either we end it in the second round or something. Or it's going to be a disc boxing display, you know, just you, to, to make some rounds. So you say second round uh, knockout or decision? Or decision, yeah. Okay. Simple, you know, people are saying, well, is he going to come out blazing? I don't know, we'll see it at the, at the, at the third. But in my, in my opinion, the way how I feel it, because, you know, you also have to feel this fight, you know, once you're in, once you're in the corner, and once this fight happening, you know, and then you're going to feel it. Sometimes you need to be quick. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to throw in, you have to go with everything. Because, you know, the longer this fight is, the more chance will happen that you're going to lose, or you're going you're gonna to walk into something you didn't expect. So let's end it early. But sometimes, you know, you're in. You're let's in. end it early. No, but sometimes you sit there, you watch all this shit. Well, okay, listen, we can fight. Yeah, but you're the trainer. Let's we, win it, get the hell we, out of we here. We can fight till 2021 and we're never <laughs> going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah, we have to feel it. But as, uh, as Mike Jim and. Uh, What's like the I most said, nervous you've ever been before a fight? Whoa. Uh, I think uh, first time the arena, because it was a big show in our town. I was there with five fighters. At the Amsterdam Arena? Amsterdam Arena, yes, that's the first time. There was, I was very nervous. You know, we won three, lost two. But no specific heavyweight fight, no big moment that... No, that the show is a show, and also the heavyweight tournament uh, when we were fighting Peter Arts, you know, because it's Peter Arts, Peter Arts, and while I think of it, it's also when we fought with Melvin against Sakuraba, because you know these fighters are like when we just started, they were already heroes, and now we are there, and we're gonna take their heroism of them and display them for that they're just human beings. Expose them, maybe. Yes, yeah. that's what we want to do. Because that's what the fight is, that, that's, that's what you want to do because you're young, you're hungry, and there is an old legend or legendary fighter. The know, Lumberjack. The Lumberjack, you know, he won three times the K1 and we, we, we picked him out or he picked us for the first time in the, in the finals. So we were standing there, looking at each Who other. Who was he fighting? Who was fighting? Butter. Butter and Peter. Butter, you know, and we, we entered the stage, you know, in the Yokohama Super Arena. We go down there, there was something like 52,000 people, I guess, <laughs> screaming, you know, but in Japan it's normally everybody's very quiet. They're quiet, right. And there are a few guys, Butter, Butter. You can hear it from uh, the top. Hey, get up out of the yeah. And we stand there, and then the lumberjack is, is coming. And I, and I remember the day before, we almost didn't want to go to the press conference, you know, because we were yeah, a little bit nervous, or at least I was. And uh, later on, you know, we were standing there, you know, and I was thinking, I said to Butter, listen, stand in the middle of the ring, you know. You have to be that animal that waits for him. And as soon as he entered the stage and he looks in the ring, he knows we are there. He was standing there. Like a line, cross this line. Yes, I was standing behind him, and I was just talking to him all the time. And he was just nodding, and he just started moving, and he started moving. Wind yourself up. Because at that time, there is no time for hesitation. This is one of these moments that I said, okay, listen, we better end this quick, because later on, like you could see with Jamal Ben Sadi. Yeah, he came back. He he always come back. And he was knocked down twice, came back, knocks him down three yes. times. Crazy. Yes, but then in that fight we left him no chance. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, you know, and then we had to fight Zimmerman. It's also a big fight. And then we fought Remy. Okay, these things happen. All right, my man. Thank Thanks you. again.
Oh. Good luck with Myrtle and good luck with Badahari versus Hesty Part 2. It's going to be okay.